Hello everyone and welcome back to Cop Supply. In this video, I'm going to be giving you an overview of Flow. This is a extension browser based tool. So we're going to go ahead and overview. But before I do that, if you guys want to know how to navigate over to the settings page, you need to go to a browser that supports loading unpacked files for extensions. And then the extension will look like this. Once you've got ahead and put in your key, obviously, and everything's unlocked, you hit this and you hit the settings button up here. I'm going to break down this in a second, but I want to go ahead and break down the settings part here and then we're going to go ahead and break down this uh, extension overview here so let's go back to the settings page and this is what the settings looks like so you have the settings section here where you can go ahead and turn it off or on and you can also configure your profiles you have the import button which pops up a file directly to import profiles into flow and then you also have the export button to go ahead and export profiles out of flow to somewhere else and also the profile creation button you can go ahead and create a profile here the first one is profile name i'm going to go ahead and call this video test and then you have your first name last name email phone number address one address two country city zip code card number cvv expiry month and year i'm going to go ahead and fill this out with some test information so we can use it in this overview and then when you go ahead and go to the country section you have a little bit of a drop down here where you can go and scroll through everything alternatively you can go ahead and type in something so if i wanted to go to united states i would type in unit and because united states is above united kingdom it goes to united states however for the purpose of this overview i want to go ahead and configure my profile as the country with united kingdom so i've gone ahead and filled out my profile with some test information here i'm going to hit the create button and as you guys can see it says successfully create profile i can go ahead and hit x there the video test profile has been created it shows my number ends in 7896 and then i have a few options here to delete it if i hit this it clicks delete if i hit this button it clones it so i can go ahead and show you that the delete button actually works and then i have the pen button to go ahead and make an edit here so if i were to change my card number to something else like i don't know uh four five six seven I like that and hit the edit button as you guys can see if i go ahead and check the profile again the card number ends in four five six seven and it's successfully saved i'm going to x out of that and then you have this button to go ahead and actually toggle the profile and this is there because let's say you have loads of profiles to use within flow and you want to go ahead and only activate one by ticking this box you're essentially telling flow to go ahead and use this profile in association with the rest of your settings which is what we're going to go ahead and break down but before we do that i actually Want to cover plugins before we go down this main section now to break down the plugin section it's pretty simple if you want to go ahead and add a plugin you hit this button you put in a name here i actually did some testing before this video but if i go ahead and correct that video test and also the url for the plugin so i hit create as you guys can see it says successfully create a plugin so when you go to this drop down if you hit that it shows you where the plugin url is going to be and then it also shows you whether it's enabled or disabled on that url so i'm going to go ahead and disable it but you can go ahead and configure this as you like if you wish to go ahead and delete a plugin you can use this button to go ahead and delete it which is what i'm going to go ahead and do so if i hit this video test has been deleted and it says plugin video test has been deleted and then you can go ahead and import or export plugins if you wish but once you actually have your plugin loaded as well you can hit the add new button and once you go ahead and do that you can configure your selector your mode your type and value so you go ahead and configure your selector there and then for your mode you can choose keywords selector or export and then for type you have fill or click and then for value you can go ahead and edit that as well and if you wish to go ahead and delete it you can hit this button if you wish to activate it you can go ahead and hit that and it works in a very similar way to the profile section so if you go ahead and hit that it will go ahead and use that section and then you have the clear all button so if you hit this it goes ahead and clears all methods for the plugin video test so moving on to the middle section here we have shopify so to basically break down what each circle does if you show the uh, power button here this is essentially turn it on or off so no matter what settings you actually configure if this is off it's not going to work so if you want to make sure that you're going to be using this certain type of site you want to make sure it's actually enabled and it's little purple like that so we have a few options for shopify we have autocart force paypal auto checkout and with auto checkout you can have the options of disabled safe and fast and then for size you can go ahead and hit a random and then you can go ahead and choose any type of size you want over here and then you have stripe you have auto checkout on safe mode and then for supreme you have cart mode which is disabled safe or fast checkout mode is disabled or safe size you can obviously go ahead and configure your size quantity you can go ahead and choose this from one all the way up to eight and then for car type your visa american express mastercard solo on paypal and then you can go ahead and configure your checkout delay by default it is set at 4000 milliseconds and then for this site you have the option to hit auto car and obviously your size configurations over here and then for a bunch of sites down here you have auto checkout on false paypal very similar to shopify and then for foot sites you have false paypal auto car and then your size configuration 
information. And then for this site, you have auto checkout, fast cart, fast PayPal, and you can configure your size as well as your card type down here. And then for Adidas and Yeezy, you can go in to do auto checkout. That is the only option available at the moment. And then for off whites, you have the auto checkout button and the fast PayPal button. And then for plus over, you have PayPal pay now button, the discord or auth click, and as well as AIO form. So you can go ahead and configure it from disabled, normal and safe. And at the bottom, you can go ahead and fill out your Twitter, discord, and also what site you want to block all this from and then your webhook as well and when you put in your webhook you can hit this button to go ahead and test it so for the home section you have a few buttons at the top you can go ahead and turn this off you have the settings button which we just covered and then we have the extensions configuration button so if we hit this it takes us to our extensions here you can go ahead and configure your extensions and within this section you can go ahead and configure your shortcuts as well so you can do activate the extension shopify checkout shopify collections and shopify force cart but going back to google here if you go back to the extension then we have the toggle sites so we have shopify stripe supreme Panagora, Big Commerce, La Squarespace, Foot Sites, Shoe Palace, Demandware, Off White, and other. So you can go ahead and toggle them on and off just like so. So if it's grey, it's not on. If you go ahead and do this, it's off obviously. And this shows that it's on. So at the moment, all of them are on. And then we have active profiles. And because we only have video test career, we can only select video tests. So that's what I'm going to do for this overview. Then you can go ahead and set a refresh rate to refresh on a page. So if I were to set this for free, to example, and I hit start refresh. What Lewis Garden do is every three seconds it will refresh. As you guys can see, it just refreshed. And you can go ahead and stop the refresh by clicking the stop refresh button. But then you can go ahead and set a proxy as well in the formation IP, port, user, and pass. And once you've gone ahead and done that, hit the set proxy button to go ahead and finalize it. Moving over to the quick links tab, when you go ahead and do this, you have the checkout button, the force cart button, the clear cart button, and the collections button. And this is essentially when you're actually on a Shopify site. So if you hit any of these whilst you're on a Shopify site, then it will go ahead and work. And then you can go ahead and configure the custom collections and the discount code if you wish to go ahead and do that. And then if you hit this button, it takes you back to settings like before. Now moving over to the Supreme section, it shows your local time and it shows the product is currently idling because they're not doing anything. You can go ahead and configure your keywords. You can go ahead and configure your color as well as the accessory and we'll go ahead to the Supreme website. I'm going to go ahead and test this out at the end of the overview. However, we're going to move on to the Shopify section, finalize that and then come back to this section. So let's move to Shopify here. Once again, we have our local time it says the product is idling and then we have our monitor delay which by default is a thousand milliseconds and then we have our keywords which works on the basis of plus keywords and to separate something you use a comma and then obviously you have your negative keywords there and then you have a price range so zero being the lowest amount for the item and then 500 so that creates a range of the items so you're not checking out the wrong things so we're going to go ahead and test this out. We're going to go ahead and select an item that we want to go ahead and go for. I think I want to go for the Nanjing bottle and it's available in both colors. However, we're going to select black here. So for keywords, I can go ahead and go to the flow extension, hit Supreme, and I can go ahead and put in plus Nanjing. I think I'm also going to put in plus bottle as well just to make sure it's solidified and then for color like i said i wanted black so i'm going to put black in here and the category is within accessories so if i hit the start button as you guys can see it's going through the process and it actually took me to the actual item and it says found product so that is going to conclude the overview of flow at cop spot